Yo, good morning, what's up, good afternoon, depending on what time of the day you're actually watching us, watching your favorite expat couple. My name is Alex with KGYT. You got my girl. What's up, guys? Paola. Right there. Like I told you guys in the last episode, we were cleaning our little one one. Actually, the coffee maker over there broke. We have an extra one here, so we're going to go ahead and take this one. Put it over there now i'll be left without any coffee and i don't know if you guys know or not but i love coffee so i'm taking the coffee maker over yeah we got the the, the pillow shams already done oh, you i got take it, it. You yeah. take it you'll be able to do both i can do both baby. all right, all right. Do let me show you guys real quick as well how this one one studio that we created right here on the side look and so that's our deck right there. You have the AC split unit right there. Smart, it's a smart thing to have. Yep. We just finished cleaning it. So we didn't take you guys to the prize of cleaning our little Airbnb studio nope. that we have here, why? But this place is, there goes the mop, but this place has its own deck. Check it out, its own deck with its own front yard right in the, in the front, look at that. That's pretty awesome. With a little walkway to get in after you park the car over there. Right here, yep. to the blue. Next to the garbage. blue uh, recycle garbage can, even though they don't recycle here they in the city. Here. They don't recycle here. I wonder why. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, you ready? I'm gonna show you guys real it's quick. Crib. How is it, Pip? Your crib? This is uh, uh, Pip. Pip my Airbnb. Pip, this is Pip my Airbnb. Ready to come in, guys? Let's go. Clean your feet before you come in. Gotta clean your feet right there. Oh, well, man, it looks dirty on camera, but it doesn't look that dirty not on camera. Well, no, because there's a two-tone. It's a brown and a black. Oh, that's right. right. So, this is our little... This was called Little Blue. We call her Little Blue. We have our suit and then Little Blue. That's it's right. Little Blue. And that's the bedroom yep. right there. Isn't yes, it it's, pretty? It is really, really nice. Look at that. So nice little... clean sheets. Now we're going to put clean shams. On it. That's right. And then on this side, if you look right across, we have... A little kitchen right and let me go ahead and put the coffee maker right coffee. everything in little is little little oh. everything in little is little i just plugged it in now i'm going to push this coffee maker back i leave them some of course some um, colombian ground coffee the coffee maker is ready you have the coffee we also leave our guests some little snacks bottle of water snickers peanuts kit kat you have the remote control for the oh my God, how about AC if unit. We have to be careful because how about if they are allergic to peanuts? Then I hope they don't eat peanuts. If they're allergic to peanuts, they should know, right? Uh, but look how this place looks. It looks beautiful. Look at that. What do you guys think? I think it looks amazing. You know? I agree. I think it looks really good. Yeah, my wife right here, she's putting in the shams right now on the pillow. Get it? Cause today we do have a guest coming in. Mm -hmm. We're not going to put him on video, of course, because, you know. This place smells, I don't know if you guys can smell it, but it smells great. <laughs> just to make the bathrooms look cleaner, I usually go ahead and I just close this out. So when you walk in, it looks nice. You got the towels, toilet paper to clean the ass. <laughs> or their nose, or their nose, or their wiener. <gasps> you pretty much can find anything you want here. Yeah. It's pretty freaking great. Let me fix this, because this has to be just perfect. It cannot be. In. And now let's bring some light in here so when they walk in, they see. Yeah, it's nice and bright. It's nice and light right there. You're going to leave them the AC on? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's cold today, guys. It's cold. So I left it at 77. Don't forget their, their mop. Wait. It goes in there? Yeah. Oh, that's right. This is their mop. This is their mop. All just right. in case they want a mop. Right? And we have a little spot for that right behind the fridge. Hey guys, I'm interrupting this video to thank you for liking, watching, subscribing, commenting, because you guys know all that stuff helps out our algorithm in order for our channel to grow and be able to bring you guys more valuable information. With that said, I wanted to invite every single one of you guys to visit one of our properties if you are passing through Northern Florida. The link is in the description below for you guys to be able to book any one of our properties. We have Azul, it's a three bedroom, two bathroom property, little blue, a one one, 
Our newest project, Bonita, is a two bedroom, two bathroom property. And on the same location, we have Applebaum, a one one. The bigger properties are best for families and groups of friends. And our one ones is great for a single person passing through town or a couple that's coming down to Lake City or driving up to Lake City to experience the beautiful natural springs that Northern Florida has to offer. Guys, I look forward to meeting some of you guys one day or having you or hosting you guys at one of our beautiful properties. Till then, thanks for watching. If you find value in any one of this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Oh, by the way, this is our whole lot right here in Lake City. Look at this. Look at that. It's a nice big... One day, this will be a complex with many homes on it. Now, this is the back deck of our property. Just walk in and you got a nice big deck. So actually, I stained this deck, <laughs> right? Uh, first time I stained, wet. it looks great wet, but when it's dry, you see the difference between. So I overpassed it and supposedly you're not supposed to do that. So now we have to spray it. We're gonna go ahead and spray it and make it look better now. Mm -hmm. But it looks pretty good. So now we're gonna head inside of Azul, our main property we're actually where we're staying at here in lake city oh, it's so warm in and it's here. nice and warm this is a nice three two place that we also go ahead and airbnb when we're not here in the states when we go back to Colombia, we actually airbnb this place that's the kitchen it looks beautiful right <laughs> uh we have the master bedroom over there with my girl right there. bathrooms over there on that side and once you come out let me show you guys when you come out very very nice when you come out You come out to another little deck with a little uh, walkway to where you park the car and then you actually have that right in front and it's just beautiful out here look at that that's the front of the property where we first put up all these plants and the banana tree right there uh we got a cold front for like five days straight and it was in the teens yeah here in florida dropped down to like 18 degrees it killed all our plants. Not all of them. They almost, 95% of them uh, withered and froze to death. But these last couple of days, there's been so much rain, there's been so much sun, that now they're all coming back. I thought the banana trees were done. Those things are popping back up. Okay. Hey, this is our living room right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Living room, right? I broke a nail. She broke a nail. Because she's been working, she's been working. There's a little place of heaven right here in Lake City, Florida. And once we go back, we'll go ahead and show you guys this other room right here. So this is another guest room right here. We don't use it at all, but it's a nice little guest room right there. Look at that. Look at these bathrooms. I mean, compared to the bathrooms in Colombia, these freaking bathrooms are huge. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's big. Like you can actually do jumping jacks and squats and push-ups in here. And it's totally cool. There's a nice little bathroom, I think. Huh? What do you guys think? Huh? Look at that. Nice little bathroom. It's perfect. Now, this bedroom, we're keeping all the supply right now in this bedroom of what we're going to put. Of course, you guys know I like my Buddhas. Uh, so we have some of the supply or the furniture that we're going to have over at Benita stuck in this room. But we have a bunk bed here with two full-size beds that people can come and stay on the top of if they have kids and stuff. They can eat. So... Yeah, no pets allowed in this property. We only allow humans. I'm sorry. It and is the humans can bring their children. And the humans can bring the little humans with them. All right. So guys, we're going to be heading over to the to Bonita to go ahead and start installing cabinets or finish installing the, the, the cabinets we were doing yesterday. I'm going to show them because we're doing the other side now. We're going to be doing the other side, the inside of the property. Now of the main house, of the main house. We just did the studio. Now we're going to be doing the main house today. And... See, we had an electrician that was supposed to come over today starting at 10 a.m. It's 11 a.m. And he, ne he hasn't showed up because suppose he's getting evicted from his property and just came up with some excuse, like always. Yesterday, he was supposed to get here early and work till late and only put in maybe less than an hour work and left. Yeah, we also paid him to put up the cabinets. Oh yeah, we, we paid him to put up the cabinets. The guy's just putting up the cabinets. Well, you guys can see who's putting up the cabinets. We are. All right, guys. I hope you guys learn from this uh, because, hey, we, we're just, you know what? When shit hits the fan, we don't give up. We just keep going. 
we, we, we just keep going and keep going. Like, you know what? We, we flow with the punches and we move on. Because we dope people doing dope things. That's right. All right, guys. So we're going to get ready to head over to the property and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. So check it out, guys. We've been here. We've been doing this stuff. And we got these cabinets in right now. They're, they are ready to go. All right. We laid it out. We had to take off the bottom stud because it wasn't lining up that well. But we did it. A ojo, which a mano. A mano, a ojo. We said, fuck it. It's getting done. Shoulder grease. Yeah. We, she <laughs> held it up with her shoulder. It went in and it's perfect. Now are they gonna, pretty? They are very nice. Oh. All right. Oh, and the plumber electrician came and he installed the toilet and the vanity in Apple Bomb in the studio here. So that's done. We already have a guest at Little Blue. So we've been running around doing a whole bunch of stuff throughout the day. And so don't think we just managed to do this and it's actually, it's, it's actually 6.30 in the, in the oh, evening right now. And it's not just that, we've actually been to Home Depot like 55 times. Yep. Uh, we've been home, we've had lunch, we've done a whole bunch of stuff. And now we're finishing up. We, we have to put this 12 inch one right here in this corner, but we only found one stud oh, no here. One stud. One stud. So that means that there's a stud here, here, but in this stud right here, you see where the line is at? Right there. Okay. That stud right there. So that means we're going to have stud only on one side and on the other side, it's not going to be held. If it's big enough. If it's, if shoosh, I don't have the measuring tape. This cabinet is 11 and a half. 11 and a half. They like to us and tell us it's 12, but it's not. It is 12 on the outside. That's oh! 13. That means we don't have, <laughs> we don't have studs for that. Uh, how are we going to do this? All right. Interesting. Okay. Here's how it's going to have to get done. That means we're, we're going to have to screw that cabinet. It's gonna have to get screwed in to that cabinet. Yep. All right, so now we gotta see if we actually have those drywall. We do! We always do, because we always buy more. Yeah, we always buy more than we need to. All right, All right. so. That's what we got. And let me show you guys something else. When I get there, my wife, Paola, she had the great, amazing idea that, so they sold us these, um, these fillers, right? So they actually create a, a fill space between both cabinets. And you know how much is each one? Each one is $34. And they're, they're like they're like crappy things, but since you need them, you gotta get them. So we went ahead and we bought some baseboards instead, right? We bought some baseboards instead and check out how it came out. And these and baseboards, a I think it's, like a, a it's a molding. It's like a trim, yeah, 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 yeah. right? All right. So yeah, let me show you, right? Stop and then I'll show you. Look, right here, this little piece right here, this little piece right here, right? If you buy it with the cabinets, the way the cabinets are supposed to be, it's, it's about 34 bucks, right? Well, we bought the trim and the trim is only like seven bucks, right? So look, you cannot even tell. It's freaking perfect. Now, the countertop will go here. You can't see anything. But let me show you guys the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Yay, we got a bathroom. We got a bathroom. But check this out, guys. Look what our electrician did. Oh, yeah. Our electrician went ahead and added an outlet right in the middle where the actual... Uh, what goes here, guys? What goes here? What goes here? A mirror, a mirror goes there. Right, so that's not gonna work out. So I told him, you know what? It used to be like this with a, with an outlet. We told them, take it out. We're gonna just put up a mirror right over it and nobody will ever see that. Sing it out. And done. So we've learned a lot doing this whole remodel, oh right? Like we've done siding, we've, we're now installing kitchen cabinets. Remember at the dojo, bring all that with us, yes, sir. right? At the dojo, at the karate school in Miami, we actually, we built a lot there too. Oh, right there, we've there. done sheetrock now. Um, we've done electrical work. Uh, we've done a lot. So our goal is, is that I would like to take a property that we're gonna go ahead and redo. And I would like to go ahead and actually 
do a lot of the work ourselves. Not to like save money or anything like that. Not to save money. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, this is any money. <laughs> They were gonna charge us to install these cabinets, right? Look, like we did it, we did the other side. They were gonna charge us $1,800 to install cabinets. And these cabinets, I mean, not for nothing, but let me show you, look at this, let me show you, right? Please don't do me wrong, <laughs> but look at this, look. Look at that, that thing is. Oh, shish kebabs. That thing is leveled. Level, level, level. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's level. Of course, we used a stud to install them and then we just find the studs. And uh, we learned a lot on those YouTube videos, guys. Oh yeah, listen, I've, done a, I've learned a lot through YouTube, right? And you know what, why not try it out ourselves? It's fun, it's interesting. Well, we said that, I mean, we, could, we did mess up the little, the little kitchen. <laughs> we didn't mess it up, why we mess it up? We made extra holes because we couldn't find On the wall, because you couldn't, well, but that wasn't our fault. You see, if we would have framed it ourselves, it would have been that. So studs have to be 16 inches apart. apart. Over there. It wasn't happening. Right, the kitchen is here. Let me show you guys this. All right? Oh yeah, the kitchen's right there. Yeah, all right, so the kitchen of Apple Bomb is right behind this wall. But what you guys don't know is that previously there, there was a doorway right here. So the studs got messed up, but the original wall is here. I don't know who made this original wall. I have no idea how it was built or anything, but there should be a stud every 16 inches. Apparently there was not a stud every 16 inches in that wall, So, but we don't know who made that wall from the get-go. So you have to deal with other people's work. Now, if we build the wall ourselves, that's one thing we haven't done yet. We haven't done any framing, okay. and that's something I would I, like to I do. do I would like to do, I would like to frame out a wall or something like that. Just, which is the back of the drywall. Do we want to do drywall again? No. Never. No, one, right. no, 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 no. That's, it's not that we can't do it because it's easy. It's just messy and too much dust and I don't want to deal with that. I prefer doing the carpentry stuff. I think yeah. that's more fun. All I right. like that. We, we're going to go ahead and install this. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. Thank Yo. You. All right. So, cabinets are up. But we're missing some cabinets, not our fault. That's Lowe's. Lowe's didn't send us everything we needed. So we have to stop. What's up, guys? So, guys, Lowe's is actually um, responsible. responsible for this. For us we, not finishing. For us not finishing. It's setting us back a little bit. Uh, Lowe's, if you're hearing this, I hope you guys help us out. <laughs> because we ordered everything. But they sent us the wrong cabinets. That cabinet is supposed to be a sink ca sink base, but it's actually not. It's a 36 inch cabinet, but it is not a sink base. So it's just a base cabinet. Wrong one, but the SKU number 989 is actually supposed to be a sink base, but they have the wrong cabinet inside. Do you, do you want to hit that one in a little bit more? I don't mind. Do you have yeah. a hammer? Yep, I have a hammer right here. There you go. God, this is so dry. See, you, gotta just, uh, uh, you know what I've learned, guys? I used to think that everything had to be perfect and precise. And what I've seen a lot of these people doing, they just grab a hammer and freaking hit it. That's what I mean. They just grab a hammer and hit it, and it gets done. Oh, the wood's not going in? Boom, hammer, done. Right? I'm, I'm serious. That's, I used to think, no, if it's not precise, it has to be perfect. Because remember, I'm a martial artist, so like the technique has to be perfect, the punch has to be perfect. We were taught to learn perfect technique. Oh shit. <laughs> I should have had one. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't close. That is the baby cup <laughs> shelf right there. <laughs> what are you guys think? That came out a little bit quicker. Yeah, it came out a lot quicker. I need to hammer it in. Hammer it in. See, when in doubt, hammer, hammer it in. in. Well, anyway, guys, 
We are done. We're going to go get some lunch. I mean, dinner. It is 7.30 at night. We've been here for an hour already. Don't hang out for us, guys. We actually like this. Yeah, we're having a great time doing this stuff. And you notice, we don't fight. We don't do any of that stuff. Everything's chill, relaxed, peaceful. And I took you off camera. No, just kidding. <laughs> then once the camera goes off, <laughs> ah, we're fighting with it. <laughs> just kidding. No, we're not. All right, guys. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace.